short word gardens. We're going to make pesto, so we have to get some basil from our garden. So, let's get started. This is the inside of our garden. Here's the basil patch. Right there is the basil. Okay, so you can cut this part or this part. So, I'm going to cut this part. Now, you always want to hold what you're going to cut off so it doesn't fall. So, then you put it in the basket if you have one. And then, if you want, you can cut more, but that's what you can do. Okay, this is where we're going to use the basil we picked. Okay, so after you picked it, you have to wash it. Then you pick the leaves off them and put it with the other basil. Okay, here's the other ingredients. Pine nuts, I mean walnuts, and roasted pine nuts, and garlic, three blades of garlic chopped up, olive oil, and Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. And also sea salt. Sea salt and pepper. Okay, this is kind of like a blender but it's actually a food processor. It can hold more things, and it can also chop up things that are harder. So, first you take this out, and if you want, you can chop up the um, pine nuts. You take this thing out, because um, these are too bigger, too big, and then you, and then you pour them in. Then you put the roasted pine nuts in. You have to put this back in to make it so nothing splatters all over the place. And then you put it on the P because that's for pulse. And that, and you do it a few times until they're all chopped up. Okay, the nuts are perfect. But next step. You only put the garlic and the basil leaves in second. Only those. So, let's do it. You have to take this out. Don't forget, I'm having grown up help me, which is my mommy. Okay, so you have to open the lid. So, you... Put the garlic in, then you put some basil leaves in, once all the basil is inside, you put it on one or two. After you blend it on one or two, then you um have to have a grown-up scrape the edges. This part is for a grown-up. And Little Miss Chef here is recording. Just pour it right in, then a grown-up should put the lid on, then a little lid on, and pulse it. So we're going to put the pepper and sea salt, and I don't know if they actually are supposed to go in there, but we're going to use it. And then you pulse it or do a number. Pulse it. Okay. Now, 
more like pesto. I have been waiting to try this bread with pesto. And you can and I'm going to save some pesto in the fridge or freezer. And when I have this bread with pesto, I am going to have it with a little basil cucumber water. And you can also put the um, pesto on the on um, farfalle or pizza. Bye. Aren't you gonna try it? Oh, I forgot to show you.